The U.S. Surgeon General announced today the nation is facing a devastating public health problem, an epidemic of loneliness. KTVU's Jana Katsuyama joins us now live to explain. Jana. Julie, the U.S. Surgeon General says when he first took office, he did not see loneliness as a public health concern. But the pandemic and research, including one UCSF study, have shown that loneliness can impact both mental and physical health. Loneliness is far more than just a bad feeling. U.S. Surgeon General Dr. Vivek Murthy released an 81-page report Tuesday saying loneliness is a nationwide health problem. The report cited research that shows loneliness and social isolation can increase the risk for premature death by 26 to 29 percent and is similar to smoking up to 15 cigarettes a day. Loneliness and isolation are associated with a greater risk of heart disease, dementia, stroke, depression, anxiety, and premature death. The report referenced a study by UCSF researchers who are investigating connections between loneliness and patients' physical ailments. Uh, studies have shown that the people that are more socially isolated have higher levels of this uh, biomarker of inflammation called C-reactive protein, which has been associated with a lot of, of adverse health outcomes. Doctors say, well, there are ways to measure social isolation, such as whether one lives alone or how many times one sees other people. Loneliness is different. Loneliness is a more subjective feeling, so I could be with people and still feel lonely. The report says in recent years, studies have shown half of all adults in America reported feeling loneliness. Some reasons? The report states the number of people living alone has doubled to 29 percent of American households. And participation in traditional clubs and community groups has declined. Attendance at churches, synagogues or mosques has declined from 70 percent in 1999 to 47 percent in 2020. Dr. Matt Pantel says in one study, only 13 percent of patients said doctors asked them about loneliness. A lot of clinicians aren't trained about, one, how related to health outcomes, social isolation, loneliness are, but two, uh, what to do about it when you um, uncover it. Dr. Nathan says her team is launching a new seminar next week to help parents and youth communicate and feel more connected. Understanding to some degree what are the things I want and how am I able to express that to someone else, my in interpersonal connections, my communication, my boundaries. The Surgeon General's report showed that as social isolation has increased, the number of hours people spent in face-to-face -face social engagement decreased among family members and friends. Young people ages 15 to 24 had the biggest decline. The Surgeon General called on Americans to create a culture of connection in our communities, and he laid out six areas where Americans can take action. We have a link to the report. Just go to ktvu.com and click on web links to see how you can help. Reporting from the newsroom, Jana Kalsiyama, KTVU, Fox 2 News.